Hear that? The Parsi. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I've makeshift quarters at Mela Shay's Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. What I want to know is, is Milton dead? Did he actually finish the job? Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. Ahem, <clears throat> sirs. We must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go he is he's Oh, God. That sucks. Was asleep in midst the trees. That's all the swaying the breeze. So things did indeed go to crap. We've lost a friend, Milton, and we found a friend, an old friend, Regis. Things have gotten complicated pretty damned quickly. We've met the beast that is killing people, although we don't quite know why. He doesn't seem as vicious and evil as you would imagine, although, you know, he definitely looks the part with the face and the claws. Oh, good grief. We have got... A lot of updates. Oh. Milton. Milton de Peyrac Peyran was, was a baron from Toussaint and a member of Anna Henrietta's inner circle of knights. This good-humoured nobleman never met an overloaded banquet table he failed to unload of its burdens, yet nor did he ever shirk a fight against heavily armed bandits or any other enemies of the duchy. Geralt had met Milton years ago under very peculiar circumstances that deserved to be recounted properly and at length. Their roads crossed again when Milton came to the Witcher as the Duchess envoy to ask our hero to journey with him to Toussaint. Milton made for good company. Was he also a good man? That I do not know. Geralt told me later some incidents from his past gnawed on his conscience. We shall never know precisely what moral burdens he carried for Milton de Peyrac Peyran perished in the palace gardens, the beast's fourth victim. May he rest in peace. Yeah, and he died at the hand of Detlaf van der Eretain. Milton's murderer was very swift. Even with years of witchering under his belt, Geralt could barely keep up with him. Soon it became clear that the killer was as clever as he was fast by entering an old warehouse where he set a trap for Geralt. In this way, Geralt had his first face-to-face -face encounter with the Beast of Beauclair and discovered it was a higher vampire named Detlaf. A fight immediately ensued, which might have ended very badly for the winder, winder, Witcher, kind of did end badly, had he not been saved in the nick of time by an old friend Regis who put a stop to their battle. After that, Detlaf fled away in a puff of fog. It's difficult to read this story with the depth and gravity it needs when this cheerful music's playing. Emil Regis, Regis Rohalek Terziev Godfroy. Geralt chased Sir Milton's murderer with mad intensity. How this chase ended stands as clear witness to the fact Geralt was facing a highly dangerous foe. The killer led Geralt to an old warehouse where he set a trap for him. A fight ensued, and at a crucial moment, Geralt was saved by Regis, a higher vampire and an old friend. Here I must explain that years ago, Regis had joined Geralt's band of fellow travellers, of which I was a proud part, and set off with us in search of Ciri. Together we lived through many fascinating adventures, and Regis proved himself a loyal friend, the kind you can trust with your life. Sadly, the expedition ended tragically for Regis. He was killed by Vil Vilgefors, who reduced him to nothing more than a wet stain. Hence the witch's immense surprise at encountering his old friend. After all, he'd seen Regis die with his own eyes. But the thing is, that was not Regis's final death, nor even his first. As a young man, Regis had been a bit of a free spirit and overindulged in the drinking of blood. This lifestyle led him to being butchered by angry villagers. 
Regenerating from that took him 50 years, or nearly no time at all for an immortal. When he was back in full health, he kicked the habit of blood drinking for good. For years we'd all thought he was gone forever, yet there he was, standing in front of Geralt in that dockside warehouse. Regis, Regis explained that he'd regenerated and come to Toussaint to find Deathlaf, a friend. Such were the dramatic circumstances bringing Regis and Geralt together again in Beauclair. They did not have long to enjoy their reunion, however. They could hear others approaching and Regis, not wanting to risk an encounter with angry humans, agreed to meet back up with Geralt at the cemetery where he had made an altogether comfortable uh, temporary home for himself. Okay. Palmerin de Lornval. Not all knights errant in Toussaint were the embodiments of virtue, but if I had to choose one among them who did personify their chivalric creed, it would be Palmerin de Lornval. He is one of the more admirable... He is all the more admirable for the fact that years ago, he was no stranger to the pleasures of eating, drinking, and making merry in a variety of fashions. With time, however, he abandoned vice and drew closer to the knightly ideal. Geralt realized this when Palmerin came to him as an envoy from Anna Henrietta. The old-fashioned and somewhat naive knight immediately made a good impression on him, for while he did take formalities and courtesies a tad too seriously, he was anything but pompous or grandiose. <sighs> Let's just hope he doesn't die. Guillaume de Lanfal was the very model of a knight-errant, the placard boy for Toussaint, if you will. When Geralt first met the young man, he was valiantly tilting at a windmill, which, to be fair, turned out to be hiding a ferocious giant. Getting himself in trouble clearly counted among Guillaume's favourite hobbies. The second time Geralt met him, he had rescued the knight from an enraged Shalmar, trying its best to rip him to shreds in a packed arena. Wounded yet grateful, Guillaume asked the Witcher to meet him about a very urgent matter. Yes, he did, although we got a little distracted. And of course, Anna Henrietta, who I think, I think has had a past with uh, our friend Dandelion. If this world has ever known a ruler who enjoyed the absolute admiration of her subject without the need for systemic repression or particularly cruel hangman, it was without a doubt the sovereign of Toussaint, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Called Anna Rietta by those who knew her well, she was the widow of a late lamented Duke Raymond, and one-time lover of the very famous and talented artist who would prefer to remain anonymous. <laughs> a few years prior, when the Witcher and a band of friends were visiting Toussaint, Anna Henrietta had had the pleasure of meeting Geralt of Rivia. When a mysterious beast began attacking her court courtiers, the Duchess thus knew exactly whom to summon. While searching for the beast, the Duchess proved that when the need arose, she was able to throw off the chains of convention and items of clothing and get her hands dirty with direct action alongside the Witcher, even if she had to do so in a state of relative dishabille. Right, so... Meet Regis at Mère Lachaise Long Cemetery. And that that's it? Oh, and we have a Bunch of other things to do. Okay. Assume we've got to do that at night. Interestingly enough, I can now change into the Viper gear, which I'm going to do. Although, I have to say, I still prefer the Wolven gear for its look. Let's have a look. This is the Viper Venomous Silver Sword, and this would be the... Viper Venomous Steel Sword. Now, it's only just a tiny bit better than the sword. Weapon charges with energy during combat. When its color changes to red, a strong attack will release the energy and an extra powerful strike at the cost of part of the attacker's vitality. Oh, wow. Overall, uh, although, you know, I can sort of see the the advantage of having a, a matching set. I'm still liking that. Yes, I am. Okay. So. I don't know why. It just doesn't... I'm just... I'm not liking it as much as the Wolven set. I think the Wolven set just suits. Okay. Enough fashion. And catching up with 
past events. I have things to do, including meeting Regis at Mayor Le Chais Long Cemetery. I also have... Is this... Where's my new abode? Is it there? Is that my new abode? I'm going to have to get to know this place. Ah, there is my home. And I have a stash there. You know what? Honestly, I think I'm just going to nip there and drop off my woven armor. I might as well. And also check it out. Before I head off to speak to Regis. Um, what time is it? Actually. Let's have a look. It is three. See, by the time I get to Regis, sun will be rising. He 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 won't want to be, you know, disturbed. You know, sunlight and everything. I actually... Okay, what? There's something going on over there. There is a red... Sir! Sir! A letter for you, sir! Letter? Okay. Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. You know it's 4 a.m.? You should be a bed, young man. Okay, stamp says postage page to get lost. No, here's a tip. Have a tip. Here. And thanks. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be off surface again. Yeah. Okay. Dearest. I suspect weighty affairs, rather than merely the wine festival, have drawn you to Toussaint. Perhaps you'll find time to probe a certain matter in spite of this. Okay. I Even recently here. came across the mention of one Professor Moreau, a scholar in Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. Though the details are rather murky, as is the location of the scholar's laboratory, his journal could contain more information. It lies buried with him in his tomb. I enclose a map I found in the book I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. I felt this matter could prove of some importance to you, thus I dispatched this letter without delay. Whatever you decide, please take exceedingly good care of yourself. Your Yen. Hmm. A professor who studied Witcher mutations might actually be worth looking into. Um... Yeah. Think? That's pretty damned huge, actually. Although, where? Skellig. Alright, these are. Talk to Count Belladar, big game hunter. These are all for Gwent cards. Go to the place where the auction will be held. Oh, good grief. So, where was. Where was this one? Search for Morrow's grave at Olimer's. Cemetery using your witcher senses. Uh, yeah, that... That actually seems... Should I do that now? Should I do that now just before I head off? Oh, I mean, it's it's just, it's, it's there. I should do that, shouldn't I? I should definitely do that. And, uh, oh God, there's some Gwent cards. Quite literally right here. Don't crowd around. Okay, swords, and, oh my god, could it be any darker? Alright, have I got my torch? No, oh, cool. of course not, I changed it to an apple at some point. Don't ask, well, you probably don't need to. Um, torch, oh god, you know, I should really meditate as well. I should, I should meditate. Do you think anyone would mind if I meditated here? Actually, you know what? Let's let's meditate outside somewhere a little comfortable. I'm just going to kneel down here and look all sort of mystical, okay? Good on you. Ooh. Daylight has uh, arrived. Is this Viper Gear green or is it just the reflections from the bushes? It's the reflections, right? No, it's, it's got a green look to it, which does make sense, I suppose. It's growing on me. Yes, it is. I mean, the one I was wearing when I entered 
white orchard. That was actually black, wasn't it? This is kind of cool looking. Okay, anyway, right. It is now daytime. It's still... It's not as dark in here. The light has improved. Didn't I? Oh, probably the wrong place then. I, I got the feeling that I was walking into an inn. But I don't think I am. I think I've just... I've just walked into someone's private home. <laughs> Hello? Does anyone here play Gwent? True. Kind of thing. To send a witch against the beast. Yes, witch it's against the beast. The um... The Pirac but it, it does look like it's there, doesn't it? Right inside... No. Inside. Oh, that's locked. Inside there, or... Yeah, that looks... Also locked. Read. Okay, a... Cake shop. Salutations. Hello. You don't want to say hello? In need of advice. Uh, actually, I was in need of playing Gwent. I, 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 I assumed it was the little symbol for beer for the innkeeper. Maybe I should just actually... If I mark it like that, will I get will I get a better clue? Yes. Oh, it's upstairs. Okay. So close, yet so far. And my head spins. Can we get this way? We can. It's ah, here we are. I am in fact Geralt of Rivia. Bon vivant. In Sinister, all called Bon Vivant, I will assume it's not your name. Eat, drink, and be merry. I... Hello, Inky. Wipe your boots before you take another step. Don't slurp your food. Don't eat with your hands. Don't pick your teeth with your knife. Okay. What? Oh, I'm just jesting. You, sir, clearly were not born in a barn. Welcome to the pheasantry. The best auberge in all the duchy. All right. Um, however, um, Gwent. Okay, yes, as much money as possible. I know you're busy, but round of Gwent. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give that card. I need the card. I'm, I'm sticking with, I'm sticking with Nilfgaard. I'm having, I'm having the success with that. I'm pro. Oh, you're going with the monster deck. I need Skellige deck. I need Skellige deck. Please tell me I get a Skellige card from you. Okay, good, good. Medic, medic, good. Don't need both of these. Definitely do not need both of these. Commander's Horn is good. Um, lots of medic. All the medic. Tons of medic. Uh, only one spy. Little worried by that, have to admit. Would have preferred multiple spies. Maybe I don't need that many medics. What do we think? No, we'll, 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 we'll... Okay, no, don't for feet. You press escape. It's, oh, done that again. Press escape, don't click the X. And... You're playing a spy on me, are you? Well, allow me to return the favor. Come on, give me two spies. Oh, no! I sh of course, I'm supposed to... Oh, that's annoying. And you're going to decoy it on me, aren't you? Yeah. This is why you're supposed to play this first. You're supposed to play this first, then you get all these for free, then you less chance of them. Oh, fine. Now, you're going to spy me, because you're going to try and throw this round. So, the big question is... Do I... Yeah, no, I do. I keep doing this. I keep doing this. Are you going to throw it now? Are you going to throw it now? No? Oh, you're going to keep playing it. Okay. Um, right. Let's have a think. Let's play the spy again. Did I... I didn't get any more spies. I got some powerful cards, but no actual spies. Um, now, I am going to throw this round. Oh, my God, we're only at the same number of cards. We're only at the same number of cards. This is not... 
Working out brilliantly for me, I have to be honest. No, it's not. I need to win every round after this. If I... The amount, the amount he's ahead though, it's just too much, isn't it? It is, it's too much. She, she, yeah, everyone gets some. Once I'm playing Gwent, it's an amorphous. Oh, you're keeping that. You're keeping that. I was going to play that using my what's it card. This card. That's annoying. Because I don't even get. I don't even get um, the bonuses from that. No, I don't. I can scorch it and then use this. Then I get the benefits from it. But then I lose the Scorch. And I don't actually have many cards I want to use at the moment for the Medic. I want to use my Medics on the next round and bring back this and this at the very least. And maybe something else that I get. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to Scorch. Bring it back. Get Spy cards. He's pa He's passed? Uh, okay, well, here's the thing. For my medics to be useful, I need these two in play. I need these two in play this round for them to even be remotely useful. But that works for me. That actually works for me because I am going to need more cards. I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to play it straight away, even though that puts me at a disadvantage. That doesn't actually matter at the moment. I get two more cards, and now I need four... Oh, I was going to say I need 14 to beat him. If I play that, I can I can use a medic to bring it back. No, I'm not going to get clever. I'm just going to use these for 20, win this round, obviously, then use medics to bring them back next time, and hopefully win that round as well. I'm, I've got the same number of cards as him, but I've got some... Her, her... Big hitters and medics, so... Oh, God, you keep... Oh, of course, it's that. That is slightly irritating. However, I'll be able to counter that. Let's place all the unkillables first. Oh, now I'm beginning to wish I had Scorch, because he's going to... Yeah. kind of knew you were going to do that. Let's have a... Th no, let's stick with the original plan. Big hitters. Then medic or all this to get rid of his highest melee. Oh, God, I wish I had the Scorch still. Yeah, maybe that was a mistake. When playing against the monster deck, you probably want to save Scorch. Probably do, don't you? What are you bringing back? Okay, that's not that useful for you. And I can take out the seven and add seven of my own. I'm, I'm still ahead, I think. Yes, indeed. Right. So... Time to... I'm going to save this till the end, I think. Time to play the medics. And... Yeah, he's no use to me on this particular term. It's a shame we can't pull him from the graveyard, but there you go. From the... Oh, no! Oh! No, wait! <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> this is the advantage of having three medics. <laughs> what now? If you've got another Scorch, I'm going to cry. Oh, my God, no! 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 Just... All the no! Um... Have I already got one on there? I've got one on there, so if I'm going to use the horn... It's probably best to use it on this, then. Okay, fine. Oh, God, if he's going to have a weather card. If he's got a weather card, I might cry as well. What's that? What's that? Okay, okay. 
63 to 69. Where, 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 I'm, I'm still in. I'm in with a shot here. Because this kills... Right, so I'm a bit ahead now. Eight ahead. What have you got? Ah! Oh, okay, now you're... You're, you're going to be a little ahead. But... But... Get, just get this on the right bloody row. Oh my god, I really did not do very well there. Whoo! 100 crowns, every bit helps, and Drake Bond Deuce. Oh, no, wait, what, what did you have? Excuse me, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the pheasant. Yeah, did you have cards for sale as well, though? I, I forgot to. What are you serving up today? She does. She has um, monsters and Nilfgaardian. All right, then. See you later. Okay, so that's one card gained. I think I'll... Can I get past? You're, you're in the weapon. Weapon? You're in the way. Really? I can't get out. Oh, oh just... Okay, fine. I'll go out this way, shall I? Where am I going? Uh, there are more Gwent cards to gain, but I think, first of all, I'm going to go off Turn and Face the Strange. Search for Moreau's grave at Orlemur's Cemetery using your Witcher senses. I am going to have to do a lot of Gwent playing, am I not? I may do a bit of a Gwent run one day. Get it out of the way, so to speak. And thus allow people to skip. Never have you seen such a tournament, for such a tournament's never been held. All lovers of Gwent are invited to come compete against players from all over the world. In addition, this tournament shall be your chance to play the new and exciting Skelliger faction. Count Monnier will be expecting you at the pheasantry. Oh, Okay, so there is in fact, have I already got that one? I've already got that as a quest. There is an actual tournament I'm going to uh, try and win. Maybe, maybe that's the last thing I'll do then. Maybe I will run round and do all of the Gwent cards once I've, you know, solved the mystery of this place and play a lot of Gwent. That way I'll do it all at the same time and A, not lose focus from what is important in life, and B, not forget how to play Gwent between each round. See? Win-win all around. This place is just gorgeous. Oh, it, oh I'm, I'm sorry. I just was not looking where I was going. That was totally my fault. Flickery trees. I am... The Duchess summoned him. It's gorgeous. It really is. It is like a fairy land. Oh. I'm approaching. I have approached. were not deceived. Yet so far south. You, sir, of all folk in all your fame. Mm-hmm. Me, south in all my fame. Oh, I've heard so much. Why, the Master Dandelion tarried in Beauclair, not a day passed without him baying out a ballad in admiration of your teats. Okay, you've met Dandelion. <sighs> yeah, unwelcome little habit of his. But, what can I do for you? Ah, you see my betrothed, Francois Le Goff, vowed in my honor to bring me the head of the horrid beast oh. they called Retore. Of course he did. Couldn't have gotten you a bouquet, some sweets in a bag. <laughs> Witcher, sir, you jest. A love most true demands proof through heroic deeds dedicated to the heart's captor. But alas, Francois has been gone a fortnight. Thus, I must plead with you to see what's become of him. Could you? Would you? Uh, my reward, let's talk about it. Uh, um, this Grotore, know anything about it? This Grotore. Grotore. Know anything else about it, mademoiselle? Judging by the name, guessing it lives in a cave. Yes. From which it prowls when hungry. 
By night, when all are asleep, it creeps into villages. Then, of a sudden, it breaks open shutters, reaches inside and snatches babes from their cradles so quickly they've not the time to yelp. Hmm. Nocturnal. Long prehensile arms. Intelligent. Francois claimed he would cut the filth down in a snap. But he's been gone so long. Will you help, sir? I cannot sleep. I fear this worrying will be the death of me. Yeah, of course I will, of course. Do my damnedest to get your fiancé back safe and sound. Yeah, he's Just, dead. Uh, mind telling me where to look for him? I forget you come from afar and do not know our land. They say Grotori has its lair in the caves at the foot of the Gorgon Hills. That close to the city? Telling me no bold souls have ventured out to defeat the beast? Quite the contrary. Plenty have, but none's returned. My concern is well founded. I see. All right. High time I set off. Okay, so we're gonna go and find the remains of her boyfriend because two weeks is a long time. Feet as cold as ice. Okay, that's interesting. Why is the mark? Oh, because I've just taken a new quest and it's decided I should go off in that direction immediately. No, I'm going to search for Moreau's grave at Orlemur's Cemetery using my Witcher senses. Yes, I am. Probably down here. Even the water looks nice. Like, I want to swim in it. Swimming? Sw swim in it. Not exactly Skelligan, is it? <laughs> oh. What the hell? Someone else? Townsman? No two ways about it. Uh, you oh god, it's Bucky! Oh right. Wanna fight? Do I? Apparently I wanna fight. The rules governing the Beauclair fist fighting circuit. Are you familiar with them? You fight no fists. Not much to add beyond that. You must make a wager to join the contest. There are three champions. Challenge them all, defeat them honorably, and you may try your luck against the maestro. Do you wish to jump in? Consider yeah. it. So you're not surprised. Consider this as well. Here, intellect counts as much as strength. You see, Mancom is no ordinary fighter. Um, Mancom. First I've ever encountered that name. One should never judge an opponent by his name. Master Mancom is a saddle, though a valiant one at that. His blows are as fierce as his riposts are sharp. Okay. Set about. Uh, I'm probably going to lose some money here, aren't I? <laughs> I'm going to oh, lose some my money. Knees quake like a carnival rattle. Let's get on with this ridiculous battle. I'm a top taunter, the best around, not one to be beaten by some inbred hound. Oh, nice rhyming. Uh, hear how pathetic and stupid you sound. Uh, that actually rhymes as well. Yeah, I like that. Your taunts? I've heard dogs wretch things more profound. Hear how pathetic and stupid you sound. Well, how then is this for a clever tongue twister? You're a bum-botching, blackened, bile-filled blister. Your mama. Think you're confused? That sounds a lot like your sister. <laughs> Think you're confused? That sounds more like your sister. I'm immune to disease, but even I'd die if I kissed her. You aren't worthy to empty my sister's bedpan, you mange-ridden mutant, not even a man. I like this guy. Should have quit before we even began. <laughs> Should have quit before we began. Gonna make you wish you'd turn tail and ran. Why, you... bad... Uh, <laughs> uh, I've got to admit, you know how to roast a man. You win. Mean Wait. we're not gonna fight. Wait, what? Why? I told you, you've won. The Witcher wins. What? Beating Mancom. I thought that was a preliminary. Game. I thought we just. I thought we. You out tongued me. Okay, but let's not. Because I'm make that public. Today, I'd have lashed you raw otherwise. 
Right, sure. Okay, so... Well, what's the fighting going on Two in the back? more champions Graham. to defeat before you can challenge the Maestro. Still Waters is to be found in Oatville, not far from Mountbank Alley. While Colossus fights in the largest courtyard in San Sebastian. Okay, so it's just a rhyming battle. And apparently... Oh, I'm sorry. Apparently I'm fairly awesome at it. Um, oh, and of course, it, my map mark has changed again. <laughs> Oh my god, this place is sort of like a wondrous place and also terrifying in its ability to distract. Oh my god, there's a notice board. I didn't go to the notice board. Oh god, no. We'll do that on the way back because I am, of course, going back to my house. My new house. I have a house. Okay, I, I assume the people punching each other in the background were just doing so for giggles. Search for Moreau's grave at Olamur Cemetery using my Witcher senses. Life in Beauclerc can be quite dear. Death, though, that's always free. Okay, how do I get in there? Gate round this way, from the looks of things. Okay. And he's to save us from the beast? Why, he's just a... a, a mollycoddle. I don't know what a mollycoddle uh, is. I thought Molly Coddle was a verb. God, this place is gorgeous. Look at it. You Molly Coddle something. You are not a Molly Coddle, or at least that's what I always thought. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is such a thing as a mod Molly Coddle. Something that has been Molly Coddled. I'm hearing drowners. Christian Curit. Mis mistranslation, misunderstanding, misfortune. Okay. Patrick Moulin talked himself to death. Okay, you know what? Shall, shall we just deal with those guys first? Necrophage. I'm going to be taking my... My new gear for a spin. Now, I've got the enhanced range... Do even the drowners look more colourful here? They do, don't they? They're like, like, have they got hair? Like blue? <laughs> come on, come on, I've got extra range. I should be able to slash the both of you to pieces. Oh, why am I coughing? Oh. Hello. There's, oh. Oh dear. Sodden letter and an ornate key. This is what we technically call in the business yet another distraction. Bruce, don't do anything stupid. I know you buried Selena's Selena at Beauclair Cemetery along with the rest of the loot from our last heist. Remember, we deserve a cut of that too. So don't be an idiot. We all know you were her lover, but remember she was also the leader of our gang and that's what really counts. We never got our share for knocking over that jeweler, Mathenberg shop. So burying Selena with all the loot is pure jackassery. Those treasures belong to us all. Let's meet up and split things in an honest fashion. Then you can go drown yourself in the lake or hang yourself from a, any branch you choose. Which was this one? Deed to Corvo Bianco. Uh, clue from the Horn of a Unicorn. Okay. Letter about Yennefer. Yeah, we've, we've read all of these. Okay, so... New quest. Can I can I do the new quest first? Which one's this? Available quests. We've got another quest starting there. Really? Okay. But surely we've got another quest in the graveyard. Okay. Let's 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 actually look at the turn and face the strange warble of the warble of a smitten knight. There you go. Uh, let's make this the main quest and see if that gives us a hint. Right, it's deeper in. It's over there. Okay. Let's stick with this one for now. And also loot everything. There should be some bodies to loot. There we go. Copper chain, jar, and a mug. Really? A mug? 
drown a tong. <coughs> what? What? What was that? Why am I coughing? I may take damage from something. Ooh. Nice. Why am I? <coughs> am I taking damage from something? Is that there poison around here? Apparently there is. Okay, so I've got all the monster bits. Pierre, maybe, and Alexandra, perhaps, barely knew each other, and their love was all the deeper for it. Okay. And... Thomas Moreau, Professor Ellis Cavani Alder in Dol... Okay, let's not even... Inscriptions in Elder Speech. Salvation lies not in Dol Nevda, but in our hearts. Glory be to Elderin. Okay. Damn. Professor's journal's long gone. Guess somebody else found out about it too. Should look around, see if I can find something else. Professor certainly can't do much to help me with my search. And... Oh! Footprints! Footprints. Narrow and shallow. Somebody small, light. Woman, maybe? Wonder where they lead. Could it be Yen? Damn it, trail breaks off. Wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. Hmm, won't learn anything else here. Map Yen sent me will have to do. Also, Epitaph mentioned both Elorin and Dolnevde, Valley of the Nine. Okay, check the location of N Navde on the map Yennefer sent to you, which would be... It seemed this professor's workshop could be found in Toussaint, which... I'm wondering if that's it. Turn and face the strange has got an exclamation mark in front of it. A red one. Maybe that is indeed where I should go. In the meantime, let's just... Uh, nip off and find that treasure. Find the hidden treasure in the cemetery. Should the beast you espy tell the commander you be best spy. behave. Okay. You're in Yet another graveyard. Alchemy? Shop? Trader. Yeah, trader. Hello. Poor ta- All right. Yeah, no, you're, you're, you're just grieving. Right. So, somewhere in here, I should find a lot of grieving people. And I'm going to disturb them by trying to loot lots of different crypts. Yes, I am. I am a terrible person. Uh, no, we're out of range. In there, maybe? Sure, go on. Drink up while you're young, coin. <laughs> no. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, I'm sensing unpleasantness. Does this mean she's been buried down here? I suspect that is precisely what it means. Do I still have necrophage oil on my... Oh, I tell you what, I really could do with repairing it. Um, my armor should be Fine. Wait a minute, it's already in need of repair? That's a little worrying, isn't it? I've only just started using this stuff. Oh. Grave robbers. Grave robbers? Okay, uh, hangman's... That's the one. Venom. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. However... Okay. Come on. Oh, I'm oh, I'm I was actually hitting the dodge key when you did that, so that's annoying. Come on then. Oh, and I did rep Oh, get out of the get out of there. Get out of there. And 
Boom! That's the red thing. God, I'm doing terribly. Against grave robbers. Okay. This could be coming from grave robbers. Can't know for sure though. Need to wait till after dusk to confirm. Wait, what? Noises might be coming from grave robbers. Yeah. Those noises might have been coming from grave robbers because you were hitting them with a sword and occasionally getting hit by their swords. Why would I need to wait until... Orders from Robin! Okay. Better not be dear Batman. The foolish flatulence fluffer Bruce has tried to cheat us again, but he won't get away with it this time. Take a pickaxe and shovel and pay our dearly departed boss a visit. Her kitty face was hideous to look at even when she was alive, so the very thought of looking at it now she's dead gives me the bloody runs. Take the jewels, pearls and other valuables. Bum nibbling Bruce tossed in her grave. Oh, and if you see the milk sop hanging around the cemetery, break his neck. Robin. P.S. Apparently ever since Selina's death, that kid's been moping near Olimur Cemetery, howling at the moon. If I know life, and I do, he's got with him the key to the chest we buried with that bitch. Perhaps we could end his suffering by ending his miserable life in the lake. If he hasn't drowned himself already, that is. So, there's a kid with a key. That kid's been mope. A kid with a key howling at the moon. Oh. It's a cat. Who apparently isn't all that bothered by me. Last exploits of Selena's gang. Oh, we've completed it. Journal kept by Quail, a gardener. Toussaint steel sword. And lots of stuff. Oh, I've already got the key. Because he was... That's the guy that was down at the lake. Dead. Right. Okay. 21st day of service. So diddling bored. There's really sod all to do here. A quick morning round, enough to water all the plants. Flower bed in front of the embassy. Doesn't demand much care either. And so it goes day after day. Maybe tonight I'll take a jaunt to San Sebastian. Play a hand of Gwent. <laughs> Bloody Gwent. Lost a whole month's wages. Next month's two. I racked up debts with that Greybill Pelegrim. Heard he doesn't let such things slide. Got to scrounge up a few florins somehow, or this might end badly for me. Overheard the ambassador give instructions to his secretary in the coming days. They'll send a transport carrying wine bought for the imperial court, along with some unused operational wherewithal. My guess, they mean to a sack stuffed with florins. Information like that could be worth a fortune to a lad from the right part of town. Right. Greybill Pelegrin slaughtered the caravan's car guards, snatched all its cargo, had the gall to deliver a pouch of coin to me at the embassy, said it was my share. I spit on his I spit on his coin, but I'm afraid I'll need it. Soon enough, I hid what he gave me in a safe place. Ever since old Ralph died, no one buys wooden planters anymore, so his workshop's the perfect hiding spot. Greybill told me to keep my ears open at the embassy, found out what they had find out when they'll have another caravan to grab. As if, as an afterthought, he added, the guard commander would be quite shocked to learn about my role in the previous hijacking. I stole the next convoy's route from the secretary's office. It's the price I must pay for my idiot idea of going in cahoots with Greybill Pellegrin. 31st day of service. The transport set off. This time it's escorted by Arnold Ape Blum, commander of the embassy guard. Greybill's men don't know they're in for a fight against elite soldiers. When he finds out, then it's time to get out of here. Coin I set aside should be enough to start afresh somewhere far, far away. Macht seems to be like a good direction. Okay, so they had an inside man. Okay. Is that it? Do I loot all the graves too? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a serious question. 
Okay, I found a lot of stuff, including some yellow armor dye, a recipe to make yellow armor dye, and a recipe to turn one mutagen thing into the other, blue to green or green to blue. But I also found, um... Some people sat down here who are not showing up as, um hostile, and there's a sign outside saying, Private Chamber of the Right Honourable Members of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beclair, may they always draw their best. Which is a little strange. Is there a... Better to die of drink than of boredom. Are you guys grave robbers, or, or Gwent players? I He says thinking of robbing gra Okay, no, they are grave robbers. I can hardly judge them, can I? I'm Come to visit your grandpa's grave, I guess. What the poking devils? Who are you? Who sent you? So many questions, so few answers. Blimey, we're the plumbing philosopher. Get the swarmy captain, la lads. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm, if I only had a crown for every time a bunch like this. Okay, out of curiosity. I mean, I would suggest it's a bad line of work to be in. But I wasn't actually going to kill you for it. I really wasn't, honestly, because it'd be a bit hypocritical of me to judge you at this point. But, oh God, I don't want that. I mean, sinners. Well, let's face it. If you'd have not been here looting it, I was going to. Ode to Gwent. I have an ode to Gwent. Pro proposal number seven for the anthem of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. Stephen de, du de Duve, Master Cooper. Gwent is like a ruddy wine. Gwent's a knight with a lady fine. When before you two armies clash, your cares melt off in a dash. Then you wish but to play, play, play. But her indoors wines hit the hay, hay, hay. Such minds are dull as muddy yards to think this but a game of cards. Chorus. Gwent is liberty, Gwent is fraternity, Gwent relieves the day's sorrow, and Gwent is my morrow. Poker has had it, and a dice is a bore. There's no other game that makes you want more. There's no better satisfactions. Greater than Beauclair's bells is a list of attractions. Greater than even the festival of drinks, or even a tipsy young minx. They can holler and shout, they can release the guards. I'm leaving home, I'm off to play cards. Chorus, Gwent is liberty, Gwent is fraternity. Gwent relieves the day's sorrow, and Gwent is my morrow. <laughs> I can't actually believe. Okay, what if we, is, is this stuff I need, it's all? I can't actually believe they wrote a book, basically, saying Gwent is better than sex. 